Hey guys, let's talk about the Tapo camera setup. So it's pretty simple. Here I have a Tapo C100, but the setup is the same for every single Tapo camera. Basically, when the camera is out of the box, you're gonna plug to power and you're gonna see the LED blink in here, red and green. So the camera is ready to go. If it's not flashing like this, you just need to use this reset button. Basically, you just use a paper clip like this one I have here. Okay, you insert here press and wait for the camera to reset. And after this, you're gonna see this flashing green and uh, red, and it's okay to go. And now you come to your cell phone, and you're gonna download this app, which is the TP-Link Tapo. Let me just put here Tapo, for example, and look for it, and you see here TP-Link Tapo, okay? So that's the one I have already here. Basically, the first time that you log into the app, you need to create an account. So you use your email and create a password, then you can log into the uh, Tapo account. And here, now it's time to just hit this plus signal, add a device, and you're gonna look for the model. Here is an indoor camera, Tapo C100, that's the one. And here, I need to check if it's flashing, green and red, which is flashing right now, okay? It's correct. So just tap here. And now your phone is going to connect to the camera signal. It's not to the Wi Fi, it's to the camera. Okay. So just pay attention to this. Here you need to come to your phone and on Wi Fi, select the camera's Wi Fi. Basically, here you just need to look for a topo. Sometimes it just needs some time to refresh. There we go. Tapo cam, and you see that's blue, now it's connected to the camera. Okay, so the camera is communicating here with the cell phone. And now you just need to insert the password for your router, okay? So now you, need to, you just need to select the Wi-Fi that you want to use, and the password for the Wi-Fi. Just hit next and confirm that's the one you're gonna use. Hit next. And now the camera is going to connect. To Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Okay, so I got a message here, Wi-Fi connected. Just move the camera here. You just need to name your camera. Let's say Tapo C100, that's the one that I'm gonna use in the location here at the office, next, just select an icon for your camera, next again, and sounds good. I'm gonna just dismiss this one, got it here, got it, and now it's okay, it's working, right? So you see back there, the camera's working, pretty fine. So the next step then is to insert an SD card if you don't have one just need to insert an SD card into the camera. So let me just show the SD card that I use. This is a 32 gigabyte SD card. You can use uh, SD card with higher capacity, let's say for example, 256 uh, gigabytes. That's the maximum the camera can use. And basically here, let me just grab the camera. You need to insert the SD card just right here, okay? So insert it here. That way, you push it. Let's just put it back here. And here in the settings, you need to format the SD card. Just put the volume down. And here come to storage and recording, local recording, so you can enable this, so the camera can start recording into the SD card. In here, local storage, you can come and format the SD card. Just like so, wait for it to format. There we go. Now your camera is good to go. It's able to record because I have a check it here to record. The SD card is there, right? And here you have also detection. 
Then you can enable motion detection on. It, it comes by default on. Person detection as well. And even tampering, if you want to, you can enable tampering on the camera, adjust the sensitivity. And basically out of the box, already comes with a good sensitivity for the motion detection and even for the person detection. You can enable baby crying if you want to, right? And basically now, when there is motion in front of the camera, the camera is going to record and let you know that there is motion if you have notification enabled as well. So see here, that's working and works pretty fine, okay? Now you're gonna have the camera recording and later you can just come and play back everything that's recorded there. You don't need to necessarily have a subscription plan because you can use your SD card on your camera, okay? So that's the way you can set up your Tapo uh, camera. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments and I see you in the next one.